السلام علیکم ہاؤ از ایوری باڈی آئی واز سیٹنگ دیئر اینڈ ابزرونگ اینڈ لسننگ ایوری باڈی اینڈ آئی تھاٹ وائی ناٹ آئی شیئر مائی اسٹوری اٹس امیزنگ یو ول لو اٹ آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل می اباؤٹ مائی فیملی فرسٹ می اینڈ مائی تھری کیڈ اینڈ وائف وی کیم ان کینیڈا ان نائنٹین نائنٹی فائیو اینڈ وی 1999 <clears throat> and some mission in our family came from one of the person sitting here her name is Nodrat Niazi and she is a person we are almost now family members almost 100 Duranis are here in, in North America and most 40 people are the submitters mashallah <clears throat> the reason I want to share because it is very amazing. In 2001, when my wife got the message from her sister, and she started practicing without my knowledge. <laughs> she started practicing prayers. She was bringing my son. He was... I believe he was in grade five that time. They start praying uh, at home, Friday prayers. So first she hided everything from me. Then she started telling me, hey, this is the religion I believe. And before I go further, I tell you myself what I am. I am the oldest one in the family. I have eight brothers and sisters. I, I was controlling everything in my family. I have a big job in Pakistan. So it was not my type that my wife would want to dictate me that this is a religion you have to <laughs> adopt. It was not right for me. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know, you know about Pakistan, how the culture is there, how the husband react on these things, if they have a power, they are very bad. Are <coughs> so, I have no knowledge about the Quran. I know about Quran, I was praying, our, uh, and one more thing I want to add that, I be- belongs to a religious family, We was practicing, we were praying every time. We were reading the Quran only for sawab, nothing else. What is the message inside, we don't know. So what happened, she, they, their brother and sister, they were believers at that time. And they start asking the question from the Quran. I have no knowledge about the Quran. So how I can compete them? So what I did, I start reading the Quran to prove them wrong. Every day I was reading the Quran and bringing the question, they have another question for me. So it was back and forth. And it was, I believe, 2002, I lost my job. We are in Dallas, Texas. I lost my job. They were staying in Dallas, Texas. And I got another job. The job was this, that I have to not stay at one place. I have to move state to state to work my. I was in Washington, D.C. My family was in Dallas, Texas. And one of my friends there was, I called him, hey, I am here in Washington, D.C. Can, can we see? Oh, he told me that, hey, man, my daughter, she has completed the Quran. So we have a party on this Friday. Why not you come here? I said, okay, that's good. So in this way, I can meet them and we have. When I went there, so keep in mind, I'm from Pakistan and they are living here for a long time. It is the party finishing the Quran in Arabic and people have a drinking party there. 
everybody was drinking. <laughs> I, I was thinking, what is going on? <laughs> it's a Quran party. Their daughter has finished the Quran and they are celebrating his Quran. And everybody is drinking. And at the same time, when they have a beer in the bottle and the glass of wine in the hand, they are talking about Quran. And uh, now you know that God always works in a very special way how to communicate with you. Because I was <coughs> so, so upset about my family. Family was everything for me. And people were talking about the Quran and one of the person who was drinking, he told it. Hey, I don't remember what is the background, what the, the topic was, but one person told from, it was Surah Hafer, and say, God only guides those people who ask for the guidance. That was a changing point for me. Look where I am sitting and what the message I got from the drinking people. So before that, before that, I was reading the Quran to make them wrong. From that day, I said, why not I start reading the Quran for myself? So that was a turning point, and God blessed me. When I reached the point where the messenger said, look at the message. What is the message there? You don't believe me, but look at the message. What is the message there? Believe only one God. So I believed it. Alhamdulillah. Now our in, in family, my sister is a believer. There are other 40 people in believer. We are almost 100 people. This is all blessing of God. That is the reason I am here. I want to share with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>